The family you've seen here on Fox 10 is now in jail in New Mexico. This is a Fox 10 News exclusive. I'm talking about Holly as well as Jesse Hopper Sr. and Jr. They're now facing federal charges, accused of kidnapping a woman and two children in Arkansas and then taking them by force to New Mexico. We first told you about them in January 2013 when they were questioned about the disappearance of an elderly Kansas man who has still never been found. I don't know where he, where he is or nothing about him. In early 2013, Mobile County deputies questioned Polly and Jesse Hopper in Wilmer about the disappearance of 77-year-old Garland Ford. Ford's daughter Karen said Ford moved from Arkansas with the Hoppers. He couldn't tell us where he was, and, and it's not, he never said, I won't tell you. He said, I can't tell you. And he kept telling us he would be back. Y'all don't think he's anywhere around here? Boy. If you were around here, I'd have been the first one to tell them. This is the second time they have arrested me and uh, tried to put me in jail over this book. Mobile County Sheriff Sam Cochran believes the Hoppers know what happened. We believe that they were utilizing his Social Security benefits and we determined that they were expending his benefits over a period of a number of months throughout the southern states. Until his benefits were cut off. Karen Ford believes that he died and no one reported it. I know in my heart my dad's not living, but every day I expect to get a phone call. And I know it's not realistic, but I expect it, and I need to know it's not going to happen. Four months later, Fox 10 News returned to the Hopper's home following reports of a stolen dog. That's where deputies found animals living in terrible conditions. That's when we talked to Polly Hopper's mother, Patsy Lee. They took all the dogs, they took all the cats and said they going to come back tomorrow and get me chickens. I just got my chickens. I just paid for them chickens. They don't come out here and save them. They come out here to get them and kill them. Now, Jesse Hopper Jr. and Sr. and Polly Hopper all face federal kidnapping charges for allegedly kidnapping a woman, putting her in handcuffs and forcing her to move to New Mexico where she was sexually assaulted. As for Garland Ford, there's still no sign of him. Sheriff Cochran hopes that now that the family is in custody, deputies may finally learn whatever happened to Ford.